Hey guys, it's Brett here, and uh, I just got back from seeing the new horror slasher film, an eye-popping 3D, Saw 3D, and you're probably wondering, why did you see this? Because I was kind of getting a little sick and tired of the Saw films over and over again. I believe this was the 7th, 7th, 6th, 7th, or 8th film, I'm not sure, I haven't counted. And originally, I wasn't going to see it, but... Um, then I was like, you know, I probably should really see this because it's going to be the last Saw film, hopefully. Because, I mean, I'm just, I'm just like, really tired of those movies. Like, just the same movies over and over again of the same slasher. Like, I do like the gory, like, the gory kind of stuff. It sometimes just gets a little, like, ridiculous for me. But, um, of course, this is rated R. So I had to go see it with my, uh, mom. Um... You know, that's really nice, going to go see a horror movie with your mom, but, you know, she's cool, so, whatever. But, um, seeing it was a very, like, kind of weird experience, because I'd never seen a horror movie besides Piranha 3D, um, in, like, I'd never seen a horror movie in 3D before, uh, until I saw Piranha in 3D. But then it was like, um, I guess first of all, I'll talk about, uh, it's directed by, it's, I forget, it's directed by, um, Kevin Grader or something like that. It's Kev, Kevin Grader or something. The only people that I really, that I, I only really know are in it is uh, Tobin, uh, Tobin Bell, who is, I believe, is Jake Saul. I'm not sure. I, I kind of forget now. And Betsy Russell and um, Carrie Eloise or something like that. I, I only really remember the people that I really know. But it's pretty much, it picks up right after the other, uh, right after the other movie. Um... It like it, it was it was almost like the I maybe the last film or the two films ago. It's only one guy this time. That is like he's kind of like a fraud. He writes a whole book about it, like I survived Jigsaw, which he really didn't. He's full of shit. He's just a washed like a washed up bum, just like scum of the earth kind of guy. And um, so then he writes a book about how he survived Jigsaw. Not really. And then Jigsaw gets all pissed, and then he spends, like, all these times planning this big, big plan to get back at this guy. And then eventually he, he, like, gets back at him, and he, you know, gets him in a real trap with all his friends and stuff. And he ends up, like, killing his whole, like, his whole, like, entourage of people, like, his publicist, uh, his wife at the very end and stuff. Um, but stuff like that. I mean, if you're really into the Saw films, which I know there's huge fanatics of Saw films, um, hu uh, Saw fans out there, but to me, I'm glad it's finally over because they need to lay that movie, they need to lay that franchise to rest, like be done with it. Personally, my thoughts, they should have been done after the second or third movie, besides like dragging this movie on and on and on. The acting, it eh, could have been a little better. It was just kind of like people go go up there just screaming and blood stuff like that, and I thought it was was really neat. I like kind of watched the Scream Queens where they picked the next girl to be in the Saw film, and I was like, hey, that's her. I remember her. But um, but like I said, just a lot of gore. The guy who plays Jigsaw, I think, is getting kind of sick and tired of playing the same role over and over again, because in the movie, like, one part, he's getting the, um, book signed, and he's kind of like, uh, 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 I think he's probably like, oh, this shit again, and then the other guy, you finally found out, I'm not trying to ruin this, but you finally find, you find out at the end, who was behind this whole thing, after seven movies, and ten years or so, or five years, I don't know how long it goes, I'm just making up random dates, you finally found out, who was be who was the mastermind of this whole thing? Finally comes together. But like I said, if you're really into the Saw films, personally, it was okay. I, you know, I didn't hate it, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it, but it was, it was fairly decent. I liked it. So if you're a big fan of the Saw franchise, Saw films, you love all the actors that are in it, go ahead and see it. Be my guest. But pre warning you, it's okay. Um, I guess since I'm doing this video now. The Q&A video will be up soon. We'll have an Around the uh, Town vlog. Not this week, but the following week to come. Stuff like that. Uh, 
there has been news about us doing an around the town movie because in February, me and Cam and our whole uh, eighth grade French class will be going to Quebec, Canada, do a big vlog there and stuff like that. I thank you all for subscribing. We're almost at 300 subscribers. I'm so excited. Maybe one day we can have 1,000, 500, who knows. So I thank you all for subscribing and watching us and putting up with, our, with this shit. So I'll see you guys later.